All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Drew Baca Network is back in business. We are going to play Alpha Strike today on a hex map. We have some mercenaries versus some... <clears throat> I'm going to go with this is probably uh, smoke jaguars. Just because you're, you're three heavies and two assaults. Probably smoke jaguars. Um, the paint scheme is not matching, but that's okay. Um, we have a couple hills. We have two sand fields, which will count as difficult terrain. We have two gravel pits. And we have a ravine that is not water. Um, our gravel pits have some elevation marked in them um, to determine whether... Uh, guys shooting through them are going to have partial cover or not, and depending on the line of fire, we'll determine whether they have partial cover. Um, we're not going to use the whole map because it's a little big. Let's see if I can get this back to focus. There we go. Um, so the orange dice you see is our battle map. All right, let's go on to our lists. All right, I'm going to start with the clan player. Pardon the, the shadows. Uh, we have a direwolf at skill two. This is a direwolf prime. It is six at short and medium, four at long. Over overheat value of four. Overheat long has IF. Probably won't ever use it. Also, we have a warhawk B. He has a narc two SRMs. So I mean SRM uh, value of two. Six at short, seven at medium, two at long. Skill three. The rest of these mechs are skill 3. The only one that's skill 2 is the Dire Wolf. This is a Summoner B. This is the Missile Boat variant. 4 at short and medium, 3 at long. It has any missile system, indirect fire, Lurms for 2, a Snark, and SRMs for 1. We have uh, 2 Hellbringers. We have a Prime and an A. Their short and medium values are both 4s. The A has three, the Prime has two, but the Prime gets to overheat by three and at long range, where the A has overheat value of one. They both bring Probe and Recon. The Prime has ECM, and the A has NARC and Indirect Fire. Now we're on to the Inner Sphere. I'm going to change my light setup and see if this is any better. Oh, I still have shadows. All right, so for the Light Lance, we have a Commando 5S, a Centurion A, a Crab 20, and a Guillotine 5M. Um, we're just going to run straight Battle Lances because we didn't strategize for other things. So we'll have six rerolls for each formation. Uh, they are skill 3 for the guillotine, skill 4 for the other 3 mechs. Then we have an archer 5R, grasshopper 5N, black knight, uh, the generic version, and a banshee 5S. The banshee 5S is my only skill 2, the black knight is skill 4, the grasshopper and the archer are both skill 3. Um, the, I'm going to claim that the archer is the Lance Commander, and the Banshee is just a hotshot pilot. All right. Um, not that that really matters, just more or less for fluff reasons. Um, yeah, I, I brought a lot more armor and... Um, armor and structure bubbles, but the clan mechs bring more damage all the time. All right, folks, one thing we are going to be doing differently than we normally do is we are going to have, um, instead of rolling 2d6 to determine whether you hit or not we're, for, me, for your attack, we're going to do 2d6 per point of damage. So if I've got six potential damage coming at my target, well, that would have been a fantastic roll because... There's an 11, that's an 8, that's an 11, another 8. Oh, I got a 4 and a 7. So if I needed an 8 to hit, I hit with 4. If I needed a 4 to hit, then I hit with 6. So 
we're going to roll for each point of damage. We're going to roll them in a cluster of dice as opposed to one, two, three, because we don't want to be here forever. And he brought some seriously damaging machines. Um, I'm going to hit more targets more often just due to volume of fire. Um, but I'm going to take damage on five things almost every turn because he's better skill and rolls much more dice than I will be rolling. So, uh, that being said, Eric, let's roll for, um, initiative for, what, what is this? Uh, deployment. I have a 10. You have a 10. Yes. You can play with this. Whoop. I have a six, you have an eight. All right, so I've lost initiative, so I'm going to deploy half my force in two waves, um, and then you'll deploy half of your force in two waves, and then we'll roll off our first turn. All right, so we have, we've got our deployment out here. We deployed three hexes from our board edge. Um, the dire wolf has teleported onto the top of the space over there. No, I didn't. I walked there. <laughs> um, and then the Warhawk and Hellbringer are on the opposite. Are on this side of the gash. Uh, that is a level one depression. Um, actually, I kind of want to make it a level two, but we didn't talk about that. So it's a level one depression because that's what normally would be the river. Um, remember that is a. That is a sand field. This is a sand field. That's a gravel pit. This is a gravel pit. Depending on how lines of sight cross those gravel pits will determine whether the, the target has has partial cover or not. Gravel pile. Gravel pile. Sorry, not a gravel pit. Yeah. Um, so for initiative for first turn, I rolled the five. Eric rolled eight. So I will be going first. Um, we're going to split our movement into four turns. I'll move two each time, and he will move to his last turn and three in one the three previous turns. So, um, let's see how this goes. All right, so one thing we forgot to mention um, is that during the movement phase, we have an extra two inches of movement. We're doing the Jared Blando... Um, setting stuff we didn't do any of the scenarios nope. which was actually why i handed that packet to you but that's okay um <clears throat> so each of us get an extra hex of movement we're playing into that does or can change your target movement modifier um if you actually use the extra bit of movement if you don't it doesn't change your modifier um so the summoner is over there, and then they have the... Which one's your speckled one? Uh, Spots is Prime. Okay, so that's the Hellbringer Prime. Direwolf's obviously up there. Then we have the Warhawk and the Hellbringer Alpha, Alpha over there. Okay. Um, since all my guys are gray, I'm going to go from left to right. We are Guillotine Crab... Grasshopper, Archer, Commando. The Commando is actually in the hole, um, and this is actually above grade, and then the hole is below grade, so there's a level, essentially a level two in front of him. Um, so the Direwolf might not actually be able to hit him. Um, and then over here we have the Banshee, we have the Black Knight, and we have the Centurion. The Black Knight might have, no, the Black Knight does have partial cover from the other two because of the peak of that gravel pile. Um, and both of the clan mechs are forward of the peak, so they're not going to get partial cover from anybody who would shoot at them. Um, being on hex maps, all of the ranges are cut in half. So if you normally move eight inches, you move four hexes. The ranges are three for short, 12 for medium, and 21 for long. Now we'll get into the shooting. Um, Eric won the initiative so he's going to react to my shooting let's see the abysmal shooting that's going to happen here um oh the archer is at medium range to those two uh these two are at medium range to those two and everybody else is at long range my half of the shooting phase started with 
the guillotine firing at the direwolf. Please excuse all of the random animal sounds my children are making. <laughs> the, um, what is this thing? The guillotine throws one die at long range. He missed. The grasshopper also fired at the direwolf, dealing one. The archer dealt two. The commando hid from things. The banshee... Banshee dealt two from the back nine. And then the Black Knight and the Centurion both dealt through armor criticals. Um, the Centurion stripped a weapon point, and the Black Knight hit those juicy movement bits. Uh, the Black Knight overheated by two to deal four. The Centurion can't overheat, and he dealt two. Now it's time for the clans to return fire. <laughs> From this side of the table, the Direwolf, Summoner, and Hellbringer concentrated a fire in an unclan-like fashion, but deleted the archer in an excess of one point of damage. The Warhawk and Hellbringer A both brought a much more clan-like approach, narked their targets, both dealt through armor criticals, um, both dealing weapon hits, um, kind of neutering these pilots. So neither of them do long-range damage now. Um, yeah, at the end of turn one shooting, the Warhawk is in rough shape. He's got one point of external. Mm -hmm. um, the Direwolf has a bunch left still. Yeah, he's fine. He took four, took three? Three. He took three. Yeah. The, the Warhawk took how much? Uh, eight. Warhawk took eight. With two internal. With two That's through armor good. criticals. Um, the Centurion took how much? I didn't write it down. He took. Uh, Centurion took four. With Centurion took four. four. The um, Black Knight took three. Yeah, Black Knight took three. Sorry. Had to move the pencil. Black Knight took three, Centurion took four. Archer was deleted in excess of one point of damage. Now it's time to roll four. Turn two initiative. I have a seven, you have a twelve. Of course. Okay, so the clans are going to react to my movement. Again. Again. All right, so we're going to start on this side of the table. So the... Banshee fired at the Warhawk, uh, dealing enough damage to do a critical, because I think we hit structure yeah. on the Warhawk, uh, dealing a weapon hit. The Centurion also dealt, de de excuse me, the Centurion dealt two damage, also into structure, uh, dealt a movement hit, so the Warhawk can now only move two hexes in a turn because of the environmental condition that allows them to move an extra inch, excuse me, an extra hex. The Black Knight overheated by two and whiffed. The Archer was deleted last turn. The Crab dealt one, Guillotine dealt three, uh, Grasshopper dealt four, I don't know. Did any of them deal criticals? No. No. Um, and then the commando dealt a through armor critical and a regular and a structure critical, an engine hit, the engine and hit then and a headshot. headshot because that's what a double six is in BattleTech. Is you shot them in the nose. So well done, commando. It took four mechs to kill a. Dog. Wolf. Yes, the dire wolf was shut down this turn because he was uh, he at overheat four heat last turn to delete the archer. Yeah, he overheat. He he. Yeah, yeah. We're it's gonna. We're learning. Bad things are happening. Um, now they get to return fire, so the dire wolf hasn't been deleted yet. Um. We have a correction to make. The dire wolf doesn't get to shoot this turn because he overheated last turn and it shut down. And it was a fatal mistake. Alright, so the summoner shot the crab and narked it. 
um, dealing a decent amount of damage. Deal, deal three points of damage. The Hellringer deleted the commando um, because he moved to close range to delete a commando and rerolled to kill it. Um, and then we have the Hellbringer over here shot at the Centurion, leaving it one point of structure left. The Warhawk fired at the Black Knight and left him with five points of structure. There was a movement crit dealt to the Centurion and a fire control crit dealt to the Black Knight. Um, the Black Knight is going to have to twiddle his thumbs and hope he's still alive next turn because he shut down at the end of this turn. Um, yeah, that was clan shooting. Now it's time to play my favorite game of Lose Initiative. Are you ready? Three. Nine. You beat me on a single die. Could have picked either one of them. Good so, thing I had that bonus to initiative because of recon. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that thing we, we've not had to worry about this game because uh, Eric has probe and recon on two of your mechs. Yes. I don't have probe and recon on any of my mechs, so he has battlefield intelligence more than I do, so he gains a plus one to his initiative. Not that it's mattered this game. Um, Can't get much better than rolling 12. But it's one of those things that we want to incorporate into the game. By the way, this is, I think, turn three. Yeah. Moving into turn four. Where's the four? Actually, it's turn two moving into turn three. Oh, is that all? Yeah, because turn one he shot. Right. Turn two he shot. Turn one, I d yeah, I, the archer was deleted. Um, turn two, the commando and the dice sheet. The, were deleted. Yeah, turn two, the commando and the... Dire Wolf were deleted. The Massacari, or Warhawk, as you're supposed to call it, um, has so not been deleted not yet. Dead. But we'll see how turn... This is turn three now? This is now turn three. Well, let's see how turn three goes. All right, so um, some mistakes were made. Uh, this is Kids in a Line. <laughs> the... Um, Banshee is the only thing over here that actually is a combat threat. The Centurion is over here and can still do two points of damage at medium range. Um, the Black Knight is shut down this turn. The Grasshopper, Guillotine, and Crab decided to do silly things. The Crab um, has made a fatal mistake, and now he has two things he cannot shoot at. Um, he should have turned this way because that way he could still shoot that way but uh they were at long range so it really wasn't gonna matter so there's that um but the guillotine has the summoner at short range the grasshopper has targets at medium range has nobody in his rear arc um actually the crab has the um Hellbringer and the Warhawk in his rear arc. That's a very bad place for those things to be, but I'm pretty sure the Warhawk is going to shoot over here this turn. But we'll see what he does. Here we go. The Summoner narked and landed damage on the Guillotine. The Guillotine has one point of external left. The Hellbringer, overheated by one, failed to smoke out the crab, but did deal damage. Uh, also has an engine hit on the crab now. Uh, they left the Grasshopper unmolested. The Warhawk fired at the Black Knight, stripping him down to his last point of structure. The Hellbringer was able to continue his Zellbringen for, for that point uh the warhawk and the hellbringer have continued their zellbringer fights on their targets the problem is now that the hellbringer has destroyed his target and the warhawk is no longer able to shoot things because he died um, and there's a banshee back there wanting to get some sweet sweet hellbringer we'll see what happens there um dislike 
<laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's watch me lose initiative again. All right, here we go. I rolled a five. You rolled an eight. I rolled a five. Yeah, you, you, you beat me on one die. We are going to start down here. Uh, the Black Knight overheated to deal one point of damage. He'll be off the table next turn, assuming the Hellbringer doesn't just kill him. Um, the Hellbringer got punched by the Banshee for four damage. Um, which went internal and then dealt nothing or a weapon hit, one of the two. Actually, I think that one went, that one went internal and dealt nothing. Okay. Um, and then the grasshopper shot him in the butt and killed him. So this guy died in my shooting phase. He'll still get to shoot this turn. The crab dealt two and the um, guillotine dealt one. It was a through armor critical stripping one weapon. And now it's the clan's turn to um, potentially shoot the either the crab or the guillotine in the rear from the summoner. The hellbringer will shoot nobody in the bum. Um, and then this uh, hellbringer can either finish off the black knight or start chipping away at the banshee. Panic fire at the banshee actually did pretty good damage. Uh, he left the Banshee with two points of armor and four points of structure remaining because um, he brought an XL engine. Um, the Hellbringer finished off the Crab and the Summoner mutilated the... I'm sorry, not mutilated because the guillotine is actually still functioning. Um, maimed the guillotine. The guillotine now has a fire control hit. This was the end of turn four? Yeah, because you've killed one of my mechs every turn, and this I have four mechs dead. <laughs> Alright, time to roll those dice. Watch me lose initiative for a fourth consecutive turn. I'm going to roll yellow dice this time. It's not going to change anything, but it'll make me feel better. I rolled a five. You rolled a five. <gasps> Recon. Oh, right. You have plus one. So, I lost initiative. <laughs> Again! But this time, due to wise choices. Yes. So, I have one, two, three, four things to move. You have two things to move. Two. I'm going to move two things. You're going to move one. And that's how the thing's going to... Okay. The Grasshopper and Banshee dealt five damage to the... Summoner, he could only take four. The guillotine only dealt one to the Hellbringer. Um, that was not enough. The uh, guillotine is going to die this turn. We'll see what else happens. I have four in trouble. All right, so the summoner did his job of uh, can. Doing the killing of the of the guillotine, um, but the Hellbringer did not kill the Banshee like he had hoped. Um, he even overheated by two to raise his heat to three, so that next turn he will just miss his targets. Um, this will be great. Now, ooh, ooh, we get to do your favorite part, Eric. The part where, where I still win, because I still have <gasps> Pro <and> Recall! <laughs> yeah. Um, the Black Knight made it off the table, so at least somebody will tell them that story. Oh, and the Grasshopper still hasn't taken damage, but he is no longer the only thing on the table that didn't get narked or deleted the first time it got shot at. Because that's what happened to the Commando. He didn't get narked, he just but got obliterated. he just got deleted by the one thing that doesn't use narc or benefit from narc mm -hmm. in, in his list. Alright, let's see if you can, uh... <laughs> Lose initiative... <laughs> I will lose initiative one more time this game. Ready? Three, two, one, roll. I rolled a... How do, how do I do that? I don't... Oh, Those dice are going to jail. Show me dice. For the I, I have to move both of my mechs before he moves his one. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, you know what? We'll do this on camera. He's going to go there so he can get partial cover. Coward. Because the Hellbringer can't move far enough that way 
to negate his partial cover because there's two level changes that have to happen. Um, the grasshopper actually might hop onto the other side of the gash. Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, I mean, and by we'll see, I mean I need to choose right now because it needs to happen. Um, you can move. Normally, your your in your move is ten. Uh, you've lost six inches of movement, so you're down four. So because of the terrain, you can move three hexes, mm -hmm. which means you can get into the gash. <laughs> <laughs> You can move three hexes. I'll get partial cover and go here. <laughs> Actually, no, he'll go to here. Because he was there. One, two, three, four. Yep, he'll go there. I need a white die. Alright, Eric, what are you going to do with your three hexes of movement? He doesn't get his extra because he didn't move the extra. This is turn five, Eric. Yes, it is. Except my guy has, like, oddly enough, all of his structure, but I don't think he has enough stupidity to stay and fight those two. <laughs> yes, he's a clan, but at the same time... You can totally back up. I mean... You, prob you probably should. Yeah. Just as a self-preservation thing, and you're the only guy left. Two, four, six, eight, ten, which puts the Banshee at long range. His favorite place to be as a skill two pilot. Hmm. Oh, it two? means he doesn't get to re it doesn't he doesn't get to use his overheat. Oh well. You're one. Okay. That's what I was about to say. Like, Actually you should be a non modifier. Um, but you've moved three hexes, so you get to be a modifier. I am still dusty. Yeah. Because of the environment. Uh, you react to my shooting because I failed initiative again. Yeah. Alright, we're going to have the Banshee shoot uh, roll four. We're actually going to do this turn on camera because we can. Uh, the Banshee is skill two, firing at long range at a one. So I need four, five, excuse me, two, three, seven. I need sevens on my Banshee. That's more than seven. That's a through armor critical. That's seven. Oh, I have one miss. So three points. Three points and a through armor critical. Here's, I have one structure. Right. Here's the through armor critical. That's a and ten. That's a fire control. Ten is fire control. Here's the structure critical. The structure crit is an eight. More neutering of your okay, weapons. Not bad. I always do that. I'm now down to negative two damage. Negative. Oh. Um, but you have, you've take, you have two points of structure left. I have a single point of structure left. I thought he could take. I thought he had one point of armor, and <coughs> four points of structure when we started this. No, he took that one point of armor last time. Oh, that's right. Okay, the grasshopper throws four dice at medium range. You need to do a one point of damage. You got to do a one point of damage. Uh, the grasshopper is a three, firing at a one at medium range. <sighs> Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Let's go with sevens. Nope, we're gonna go sixes. <laughs> that's a six. That's a better than a six. That's not. That's better. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have killed the Hellbringer. What is the Hellbringer going to do in response? Uh, Hellbringer in response kind of has to shoot something and he shot at the banshee last turn so he'll probably shoot the banshee again this turn even though it's a much worse target banshee's on the uh hellbringer's on this side of the line I'll try to show you guys the line there we go it's easier to with me that way this line here point being is they both have the same number of points away yeah They're technically at long range versus the normal i'm mm -hmm. only gonna get one one die roll for it yep I'm already overheating by three, and the mech's gonna die. If I can crit your banshee and kill it, I will laugh. 
Now, I believe you can only overheat by one because you can't exceed, you can't voluntarily exceed the heat scale. Okay. And it does have overheat mode. Mm -hmm. Because that is the Hellbringer Prime. Overheating by three. Yep. Uh, so shooting at you. Six, at seven. Long range. Any elevens? So your your end is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To hit the banshee at long range. I get two shots. Or you can shoot the grasshopper for, for tens. tens and not kill it. Yeah, I will take my chances. Rolling stupid twelves. <laughs> Headshot a banshee, headshot a banshee, headshot a banshee. That's a no. Okay, he dies. Yay, the banshee survives with his structure intact. The grasshopper's like, what the heck, guys? I didn't even get shot at. You weren't a target. Hold on, did you, did you even roll enough to make 12 on 46? Mm, no. You just made 12. 7 plus 5 makes 12. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Um, Mine for one hit, which is a... So this was <laughs> this was one of the first times Eric's actually <coughs> put in enough time to build his own list. Um, Eric, it's how do you to do? How do you feel about it? You should have brought missiles, you jerk. I should have brought have missiles. So much AMS. You have two things of it. Don't you have two things with I have AMS? Like four mechs with AMS out of no, five. No, you don't. Okay. No. No. AMS, AMS. Okay, sorry, I have two. The Thor, sorry, the Summoner and the Hellbringer Prime. Yeah. I, I mean, still have things with AMS. The only thing that shot at you that brought missiles in its profile was the Archer, and you deleted it first turn. Yeah. Who brings only one mech with missiles? What kind of weird structure are you going with? You're like, I have and energy um, in case. Like, my, my grasshopper was full energy. My crab was full energy. The I don't know what the 5S brings, but he's supposed to have enough SRMs to count. Um, the branchy just... I don't, I don't actually know which one that one... I don't know what that one brings. He brings butt guns. Mm. Um, the Black Knight is also energy. Yeah. Three of my eight mechs are just full energy. Yeah. <laughs> I have AMS. I got, like, ECM. I yeah. got all these neat little things. He brought AMS, ECM, and Probe, and he got to use Probe <sighs> once because my initiative rolls were abysmal. I even have Recon. And you know what that did this time around? Actually, your Recon is what gave you the... Um... I have Recon and Probe. I know, but your your recon is what gives you the battlefield intelligence. Your probe allows you to find hidden units, and this isn't a campaign, and we didn't do any ambush things. Maybe next time we'll do ambush things, and you'll get to use all your probes. I'm gonna probe you. No, you're not. I narked every single thing, and then the <laughs> one thing that survives doesn't benefit from nark. It is the only mech I brought that doesn't benefit from nark. Oh, hold on, I gotta do one more thing. Oh, you. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for watching.